वेलकम एवरी वन टू माई चैनल दैट इज़ फास्ट एंड ईजी मैथ्स विच इज़ डेडिकेटेड टू गिव यू टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स रिलेटेड टू मैथमेटिक्स सो स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन विच वर आज इन ए सी सी वन ट्वेंटी फाइव जी मैथ इन द ईयर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन ओके सो द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच वी हैव ओवर ईयर इज इफ ए इज टू बी इज इक्वल टू फोर इज टू फाइव B is to C is equals to seven is to nine, and C is to D is equals to three is to four. And we know that A share is one six eight zero. Then what is D share? Okay. So whenever you have ratios, okay, and whenever you have like so many entities and so many different ratios, your entire job is to first find out what is A is to B is to C is to D. Now, in order to do that, what you should be doing over here is, uh, let's first write down these ratios in form of a fraction. Okay, so we have a is to b, which is four is four upon five. This, if we want to make it equal to, <coughs> rather let's not put an equal to sign right now. Then there is another fraction which is seven upon nine, and then there is another fraction which is three upon Four. Now, very quickly, please understand that whenever you have something like this, so basically you have here. This is which is what a upon b, and this over here is what b upon c, and this over here is again c upon d. So now understand that number nine and number three are represented by what c. Similarly, number Five and number seven is represented by B. So in order to find your A is to B is to C is to D, you need to make sure that this number and this number becomes equal. Similarly, this number and this number becomes equal. Means the alphabets which are getting repeated twice means B was repeating repeated twice. So the number B sorry the letter B has to be represented by the same number. Now what how we do that is by taking an LCM between five and seven. So what is five and seven? My LCM of five and seven is thirty-five. Okay. So let's first do that. So when you're multiplying, if I'm multiplying a ratio or rather a fraction, I have to multiply the numerator and the denominator to make it balanced, right? And then make it equal to, and this will be what seven into five upon nine into five. Okay. Now understand here what you get is twenty eight upon thirty five, and here what you get is again thirty five upon forty five. So your entire goal of making sure that B is represented by the same number is correct, right? Now B is represented by the number which is thirty five and thirty five. Now what happens for C? Now here we had three upon four. Now over here now C got changed to what forty five nine into five is forty five, right? So here your three will get multiplied by what to make it forty five? You should multiply it by fifteen, right? Similarly, four also has to get multiplied by fifteen. So this will become forty five upon sixty. So now I can say the ratio has changed to twenty eight is to why twenty eight? Because A is now represented by twenty eight, okay? And B is now represented by thirty five. C is represented by forty-five and D is represented. Sorry, D is represented by sixty. Okay. So now what you do is see we know what A share. So A share is what one six eight zero. That will be equal to what twenty-eight upon the total of all of these. Okay. So when you add forty-five and thirty, thirty-five, you get what eighty. Eighty plus sixty is what. One forty. One forty plus twenty-eight is going to get you what? One sixty-eight. Okay. And this into total. Right. Remember, a share will be what? Ratio of a, or rather, the number which is represented by a upon the total of the all fraction multiplied by the total sum. We do not know the total sum, so from here we'll find out the total sum. Okay. So now twenty-eight ones are and twenty-eight. Forza. If you don't know how to do that, uh, sorry, not forza. It's sixza. If you don't know how to do that, you can simply start by cancelling. You know, making uh, dividing it by four or dividing it by two, something like that. That will also work. Okay. So now your total changes to what? I can say my total now becomes what? One six eight zero into six. 
which gets you 0 or rather you know if you don't want to calculate also it's fine because you know what you don't need the total what you need is d share so d share d share will be what 60 upon 168 into my total which is 1680 into 6 okay so 1680 this is tensor and we have 6 into 60 which is 360 multiplied by 10 which will get you 3600 so your option d is my correct option okay so now students just for a quick revision let's do this one as well so you all know that how to handle ratio sums when there are four different entities involved so here we have 3 upon 4 and then we have over here is 5 upon 6 and then we have something over here which is 7 upon 8 now see this is different i'll tell you how first let's try to convert this so we will multiply by 5 you will multiply this by 5 right and here you will multiply by 4 here you will multiply by 4 okay so now what you get over here is 15 and 20 okay so let's write that down 15 upon 20 here you have 20 upon 24 now you have 7 upon 8 over here so please understand 24 and 7 there is nothing common between them right so you will have to multiply this by 24 and this also by 24 now unfortunately since nothing is common so again here you will have to multiply by 7 and 7 so basically since you are multiplying your 20 over here by 7 this will get multiplied by 7 and this will also get multiplied by 7 okay why we did not have to multiply over here because you know what 45 was there right here we had 45 and 3 we knew that 45 can come in multiples of 3. So, we just had to multiply by 15. But here had you had a prime number just as this case then you would have to do the multiplication backwards as well. Okay. So, now what you get over here is 15 into 7 is 105 upon 7 into 20 which is 140. And this is again 140. Okay. So, 24 into 7 gets you 168. Okay this is also 168 and this 8 into 24 will get you 192 okay so now your fract rather your final ratio becomes a is to b is to c is to d now becomes 105 is to 140 is to 168 is to 192 okay so now i think the option b is your answer Okay, students, if you like the way I'm explaining, then please go ahead and hit the like button because that gives me tremendous amount of encouragement in doing these kind of videos. Okay, so now <clears throat> coming to the next one, we have also don't forget at the end, I'm going to put up a DIY of a similar kind. So please stay tuned and do solve it and put your answers in the comment section. So now we have 0 0.6 of a number equals so let's take one number as x this is equals to 0 0.09 of another number which is y now ratios of the two numbers is what so what you do in that case is basically you will start with division okay so you need x upon y so you shift y over here and 0 0.09 will get divided by 0 0.6 okay now so those of you who do not understand decimal i have always told you all that convert your decimals into fractions so you have 9 upon 100 into 6 upon 10 okay so this gets cancelled 3s are 2s are so you basically get 3 upon 20 so option d is your correct option okay so now time for your diy okay you will tell me what is a if a is to b is what uh, let's say 2 is to 3 b is to c is what 5 is to um, 6 and c is to d is equals to 2 is to 4 so do let me know what is your a is to b is to c is to d for this, I am not going to give you an option. I want you all to do it on your own. So, do let me know your answers in the comment section. So, that's it for today. I will see you in the next video.